Hi guys, it's uh, Dave here. Um, yeah, the uh, Roman have just launched the second in the series of the Captain James Cook two pound coin series. Um, I picked up the uh, first one last year. I've got that in hand. I'll give you a look at that in real life, but I just wanted to show you the second in the series. Uh, I have got this one coming anytime in any couple of days soon. So uh, yeah, so it starts at the bottom here with the uh, the three coin set. I've got the uh, I've gone for the silver proof with these sets, and it's quite an quite an attractive coin set up. This where it's got the first one showing the uh, the bow of the endeavour, uh, and these three coins make up a a larger picture, very similar to the uh, heraldic shield. Uh, they're releasing one of these once a year until 2020. So obviously the bottom one here came out in 2018. This one's going to be 2019, and obviously that's going to be next year. Uh, and what I can see from this now, with, with the second, uh, should we say, piece of the puzzle there, I can you can actually get a good idea how big the endeavour is going to be. It's going to be quite a, a big, prominent boat or ship in the uh, in the centre there, so it looks pretty good. So the first one celebrates is the, the launch of the trip. Uh, this one here, the second in the series, it's 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 to represent him when he when he arrived in Tahiti, uh, and it actually sh it's to show the uh, the path of Venus um, in the in the sky. So uh, yeah, it's quite a nice coin that one. It's uh, it's very unusual. Uh, and I can see this being um, really well sought after this one. Um, unfortunately, the three coin set um, is sold out at the Royal Mint and also the first silver proof coin that, that's already gone, unfortunately. Uh, I think there's uh, I think there's some golds available. Um, but for me, I mean, I, I like my gold coins. Nobody, nobody can say I can't, but I think with the two pound coins, I, I, I genuinely think they look better um, in a silver proof. Um, I just wish the Royal Mint uh, would go back to the when they did some of the gold, especially like, it looks pink. Uh, it's because obviously that's that's the gold copper alloy which they've been using since just after they got rid of the sovereign. 32 or something like that somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there but they went to the gold copper alloy uh, and I prefer I prefer the gold silver alloy which it it to me looks more like gold so as you see that as you see here that's the uh, this is a silver proof but I just think it looks a lot nicer uh, especially in hand I've had uh, gold proof two pound coins against silver proofs and for some strange reason I just like that the silver proofs look more gold than the gold ones if you get what I mean so I'll just cut away now and I'll show you the uh, the first one I've got in hand so this is the uh, the first in the series the uh, two pound silver proof of the uh, Captain James Cook Just pause it as when you need. It's almost like a Haynes manual, that. Almost like the Game of Thrones, doesn't it? So this is a typical uh, two pound silver proof case. Got a COA of 
347, so not too bad. And like I say, a maximum mint of these are going to be 5,000. So in this set, we've got a 4795. Quite nice. And here's a coin. Yeah, so this is it in some daylight. This is a better view for you guys. There's just an absolute ton of detail in the coin. And like I said before, I, I much prefer these two pound coins and the silver proofs to just look more gold than the gold ones. So uh, let me hear your thoughts, guys. Are you guys going to get the uh, some of these coins? Uh, have some of you got the gold ones? Uh, I won't mind having a look at them. Um, and these are coming out in the uh, the BUs as well. So it, it's worthwhile grabbing a few BUs of these, I would say, because... Uh, I've got a feeling these are going to be sought after in 2020. Oh, and uh, the edge detail on these, I will give this a go. It's in Latin and it's Oceani Investigator Aroninus. I'm sure there's some uh, Latin studies who can uh, correct me there, but I, I think it means something like uh, the greatest investigator of the ocean or the greatest investigator of the sea. Uh, and it's the same edge detail on both the coins. Yeah, investigator. So there we have it. Let me know what you think. Yeah, so the second one should be in hand uh, sometime next few days, I would suspect. So as soon as that comes in hand, uh, I'll put that on YouTube as well for you guys to have a look. So there's one last look at it it makes wonders when we're working in daylight so thanks for all the new subscribers uh, I will be doing a, a giveaway to celebrate the uh, 100 subscribers uh, I'm not just too sure how to do it or what to offer yet so give me uh, a few days to work work some out and I'll uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some nice giveaways on there so appreciate all your support please subscribe see you soon Oh,